Yo, what's good, everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doula, another day being charged up, and today we are bringing back NBA Imperialism and NBA 2K24. It's a new year, it's a new game, new teams, and it's time to see who will take over the United States of America in 2K24. So we have the infamous map of every state, every team, and we're gonna see what team can end up conquering this entire country of the United States of America in 2K24. So the way it works is very simple. We're gonna spin this wheel. Whatever team it lands on, we end up uh, you know, go into the map, we see what team it lands on, and then we go ahead, we spin this arrow, whatever direction it goes is the team that we play against, and in 2K24, we're gonna simulate the game, and whoever takes over every country, or every state, wins the whole thing. So without further ado, let's get into it for our first spin of the video, kicking it off, we have the, it looks like the Atlanta Hawks, Yes, sir, Atlanta Hawks. And the direction we will be going is straight down. So straight down from Atlanta Hawks is the Orlando Magic. They're gonna play up against each other and the winner ends up taking the best player from the losing team. So real quick, here's the matchup. We got Trey Young, Markel Fultz. Really the matchup is Trey Young and Paolo Bancaro. I'm gonna be honest, man, knowing 2K, knowing how this game works, the Hawks always win. Um, they're always the first seed in the playoffs. So I think they will end up be, uh, beating the Magic. So I'm gonna simulate with SimCast here. And if the Hawks win, we actually pick up Paolo Bancaro, which will definitely help this team. And our first game of the video is looking like an easy dub for the Atlanta Hawks. Wow, yeah, blow out by 40 points. Trey Young dropped 36 and 13, and we get to pick up Paolo Bancaro to the Hawks. All right, our second team is the San Antonio Spurs. This is gonna be a very, very interesting one because whatever happens, if the Spurs lose, a team's gonna pick up Victor. And if the Spurs win, Victor gets some help. So the San Antonio Spurs, what direction are we gonna be going? Um, we can't go south, I don't think. We're gonna go straight west. No, east. I'm really bad with geography. It's, it's e east. No, it's east, it's east. Le right is east, duh. So San Antonio is playing, oh, the Houston Rockets. Now I'm trying to think uh, the ma matchup wise, who has the best shot here? I think the Rockets have the better all around team, but if the Spurs end up winning, that'd be huge. Uh, we will pick up Jalen Green just because, you know, he's their best player. So they actually have a lot of good 80 overall players. Why is Fred Van Vliet an 86 overall player? Am I bugging or is that kind of high for Fred Van Vliet? Am I bugging? And then Elprin Sungun's also 86. Him being the same overall as Jalen Green is very interesting. But let's see the battle of Texas, the battle of Houston and San Antonio. Hey, what's the, what's the better city? In my opinion, I think Houston, right? I think it's better. God damn, they're, bro, they're blowing them out. Wow. 30 point victory. And just like that, the Rockets pick up Victor Minyama. Two teams out the way, 28 more to go, or really 27 to find our winner. And the next team we are going to be using is the Phoenix Suns. Interesting. This is actually a big one because they have so many good players. And if they get a good player, okay, let's see who they're going to go up against. Because if they get like a star player, it's basically wraps. They're so good. They're going bottom right, which for Phoenix, bottom right is no bottom right you get the atlantic ocean so that's not gonna work we gotta spin this thing again we're gonna be going upright okay upright is valid that's denver nuggets that's a great matchup let me tell you why it's an amazing matchup if the suns win they get an mvp nikola Jokic, a finals guy and if the nuggets win they get durant okay the game is looking like the nuggets are about to win wow hold on hold on it's a 13 point game can they come back Nah, you know what's crazy? 2K has a habit of doing the Suns dirty in my league, in these simulations. They always, you know, make them bad. But the Nuggets win. That's a big win. Durant had nine points. He went four for 11. Bradley Beal went six for 17, building the house. And then Nikola Jokic, he cooked up. And just like that, Denver, who do they pick up? Who should they pick up from the Suns? I think it's got to be Durant. Next team we got going on is the LA Clippers. All right, we're now in the west coast of Los Angeles, and the direction we will be going is straight upright. So for the LA Clippers, upright. Let me do the math here. Upright is is the Utah Jazz. If you take this tip, upright, Utah Jazz. Yeah, yeah. Matchup wise, we have. I mean, I think the Clippers are way better defensively. You got a healthy Kawhi and Paul George. And if we do win, I would end up taking Lloyd Markkinen. Am I bugging or are they overrating some of these players? Jordan Clarkson being an 85 overall. I'm not sure how I feel about that, bro. I love Jay, Jay Clark, but like, is 85 kind of crazy? I don't know. And I had totally forgot that John Collins is on the Jazz. I forgot about that trade. Yeah, that went under the radar. What the heck? Okay, well, let's just go ahead, simulate this game. I want some close games so I can actually hop in, but so far... Everything's been a blowout. The Clippers looks like they're going to be adding some shooting to their team because Lori Markkinen is coming 
to LA. Next up, our next team is the OKC Thunder. That's they have a lot of good players on that team. I think uh, if a team beats the the Thunder, okay, so they're going up north, up right a little bit, which is Chicago Bulls, geographically speaking here. So. The Bulls versus Thunder is a good matchup. Looking at this matchup, I think the Thunder have the more skilled players because you got Josh Giddy, you got Shea, who's a 93 overall. He's a potential MVP type of player. But the Bulls have, I don't know, Bulls have some good scores. I don't know, this could be a close game. I hope, bro, I just hope it's a close game. Let's see. Yeah, so far it's close. Going into halftime, it is very close. Yeah, Bulls have the edge. Thunder take it back in Thunder having an amazing fourth quarter. That fourth quarter, they scored 20 more points than the Bulls. Yeah, that kind of did it for them. Uh, Giddy had 32 and, or 31, and then Gilgis Alexander had 32. So they balled out. Who do we take from Chicago, though? I think we got to take DeMar DeRozan. So far, here's an updated look at the map. As you can see, the Houston Rockets have the biggest chunk of Texas. You have the Hawks that occupy some of Florida, the Clippers, the Suns. They got some places, the Thunder. We're, we're making a dent, for sure. We still have 25 teams standing, which is crazy. After all this, only five teams are out. And the next team is, what do you know, man? The Houston Rockets back at it, now with the victory in Benyama. So they're even stronger than before. In what direction are we going to be going? up and straight up is the Dallas Mavericks bro if they get Luka Doncic's wraps they win the whole thing so here's how the Rockets look like now we have uh Victor Mbanyama at our center and Elprin Sungun coming off the bench as a sixth man but the Mavericks they have some good guards as well obviously Luka and Kyrie but their big guys stand no chance low key because we got Jabari Smith too I'm wondering if instead we have Sungun at power forward and Smith as sixth man how dominant would they end up being imagine the, the Mavericks end up winning though if the Mavericks win That'd be huge. And they have the lead. It's a back and forth game. It's kind of close, low key. Yo, it's a very close game. It's a game worth hopping into. Hold on. Yeah. With a minute left, let's hop in. We got Victor chilling on the bench. Yeah, they're down by two. Is Jalen Green in the game? Yeah, we got Jalen Green in the game. Okay. Fred Van Vliet is just, he's too little compared to Luka. He's going to go in the paint, pass out to Jabari Smith for the three, and he misses it in and out. He's sold. Rockets need to stop here if they want to win this game. Luka going in the paint. No, sir. Pulling on. No, no. 10 seconds left. Dwight Powell. He's tired. Grant Williams. Back to Luka. Luka is taller. He could attack the paint just like that. Damn. Dunk it right on him. I'm telling you. That height difference makes a difference. Four point game. Now Victor is checked back in the game. I'm not sure why he wasn't in the game last possession. What's he got? Pulling up for three. Bang. Oh my God. What a shot, bro. 25% covered. Okay. Can we get an inbound steal? Sun gun. Oh, we got a foul. The Rockets have no timeouts left. We are down by three points. What's the move? If it's me, I'm giving it back to Wemby Nyama. Fred Van Vliet should not touch the rock. Give it to Wemby. Catch and shoot again. Hey, tied it up. Bro, Wemby Nyama's the truth. He's the truth. This is the biggest possession of the game. We cannot let Lucas score. We should switch. We should have Wemby Nyama on him. Kyrie Irving, he's the clutchest player on the court. Pulling up for the midi. No, we're going into OT. Webb and Yama checked in the game and just saved this team. All right, we are definitely not watching the rest of overtime. And just like that, man, the Rockets step up in overtime. Webb and Yama had 22, Jalen Green had 31. And just like that, the Rockets get to steal Luka Doncic from the Mavericks, bro. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So at this point, Houston has now taken over the entire state of Texas, the largest state in the country. If you guys didn't know, now you know. But... Now we're going to spin this wheel again, and I don't think any team stands a chance against uh, the Houston Rockets at this point. It's going to take a miracle. We got Miami or, yeah, Miami. Now, Miami can't go south because it is South Beach, and, you know, you can't go southern than south, or east, right? You can't, yeah, because you, you get the ocean. I'm not sure what this ocean is, but you get one of the oceans that, I mean, there's the five major ones. You get one of them. Again, you can't go that direction. What we got this time, we're going up left a little bit. And, oh, what you know, Atlanta Hawks. And keep in mind, the Hawks have picked up Paolo Bancaro from, you know, beating the Magic. Hey, this could be a closer game than I think. The Heat are a championship, or they went to the finals, so it's not like they're a bad team at all. But they're always the underdog. In every situation, they're the underdog. And even in this game, it looks like they... No way! Okay, two-point game, and the Hawks have the ball. We gotta we got just see what's going on. Oh, no, it turns out the Heat have the ball. Okay, so 11 seconds left, and the Miami Heat have the ball. This is huge. I don't see Jimmy Butler in the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, Jimmy, is he uh, fouled out? He has to be fouled out. 21 points and six fouls. Jimmy is fouled out. So who takes the last shot? Do you give it to Tyler Hero? Six seconds left. What's he going to do? 
kick out to Kyle Lowry. No way this is the game plan. No way that's the play that coach drawn. He did not draw that up, bro. Wow, that was horrible. I would have given the Bam out of bio, let him dunk on someone, but no. The Atlanta Hawks will steal Jimmy Butler. And uh, that's a horrible play call. And now the Hawks have uh, all of Florida. Next team we got on the wheel is a new one, the Cleveland Cavaliers. They have a lot of good talent on that team. You know, Mobley, Garland, Mitchell. They're going straight down south, which will take you to, I mean, if you go from this tip, I wish I'm gonna go from, is the Washington Wizards. And they don't have a good team. If they win, they get Jordan Poole, but the last thing they need on that team is another guard that can shoot. They got plenty of those. And this is an easy blowout for the Cavaliers, right? Yeah, pretty easy victory, 20 point win. Garland, he went crazy, and uh, I mean, who should we, who's actually better to pick up, Kuzma or Garland, or uh, Poole? Kuzma's actually an 85 overall small forward at 6'9". That could be more beneficial, a small forward is what they need, so I'd actually be picking up Kyle Kuzma instead. Only eight teams have been eliminated, bro. I've been here for about 30 minutes. Oh my God, I swear I shuffled the wheel. Are we landing back in Houston? We just missed it. We got the Charlotte Hornets this time, and they'll be going right, a little bit upright. Uh, so that would actually be the ocean. Again, I'm not really good with the oceans, um, if someone wants to help with that, but we're gonna be going instead down, directly down, which is the Atlanta Hawks. So crazily enough, Butler's rated a 96. At age 34, that's insane for Jimmy Butler to be a 90. That's actually insane for him to be a 96 overall, bro. But yeah, so it's going to be the Hawks versus the Hornets. If we pick up LaMelo Ball, even better, bro. Even better. And the Hornets starting off strong. Their team isn't that deep, though. We got a deep roster. You know, we got Paolo, Trey, now Jimmy. And it's a close game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Four-point game. And we win it by just one point. Damn. Okay. Well, Lonzo had 26. Gordon Hayward and, and Brandon Miller balled out. But Butler had 19, Trey Young with 14. Okay, we're stealing the mellow ball. The rich get richer, bro. And slowly but surely, the Hawks will be uh, taking over the East Coast probably, and it just depends how the wheel goes. But next up, what we got? We got the Brooklyn Nets. Interesting, they're not really a good team to be honest. I, I don't think I'll take anyone from Brooklyn. Maybe Mikhail Bridges. They're going right, you can't. You can't, yes, yeah, the ocean again. It just so happens like a lot of them are just right on the coast. You can't go right, bro, come on, arrow. We're going up. We could go up. Going up would be the New York Knicks. I'm going to keep it a buck. The Knicks should uh, take this one pretty easily. They got Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson. It should be an easy win for the Knicks. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a close one. I'm going to hop in with the minute. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I got to hop in. 30 seconds left. No! Damn! I hate when this happens, bro. We were doing so good. Let's try this again. Hopefully, it's still a close game. The Nets were up by one point. So uh, with 30 seconds left, if you know that means anything, but... Ah, uh, wait a minute. No, nah, nope. Knicks end up winning this one by seven. Randall had 30. Barrett had 24. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably end up taking. I mean, who's on the Nets that we even want? Yeah, probably Mikhail. 90 overall, bro. What is up with the ratings? Is Mikhail that high? But the Knicks take all of New York now, so no more sharing with Brooklyn. Sorry, Jay Z. What's next, baby? Next up, it looks like we have the New Orleans Pelicans. That's a solid team right there. New Orleans, they're going in the direction of south, straight south. And for the Pelicans, you can't do that. God dang it. Instead, we're going up left. They could definitely do that. Up left is the OKC Thunder. Now, you got to remember, we picked up DeMar DeRozan from beating the Bulls. So we have uh, we have DeMar DeRozan power forward, Chad center. So DeRozan will be matched up against Zion Williamson. Lou Dort against Ingram. That's a good matchup defensively for Dort. And then Giddy, Shea. This is actually a very uh, close matchup. Closer than we think. But the question is, the question is, what does 2K think? Will be the outcome pelicans starting off strong wait a minute uh, i don't know man it looked like the pelicans got it they do wow they beat the thunder so giddy was their best player and it wasn't enough ingram had 26 bro zion didn't even perform he had five points he did nothing and they still won and just like that we'll pick up shea so of course that means the pelicans steal chicago uh oklahoma and they keep their own state so that's a big w for them Let's go ahead and continue to our next team. We are back with Denver, right? Yes, back with Denver. Remember, Denver uh, Denver picked up Durant from beating the Suns. So Denver is even better, and they're going up north, uh, up right. So 
Yo, I'm dumb. I don't know why I made this. I, I messed up with the map. God dang it. All right, we fixed the map. So it is Denver, how it's supposed to be. They, they took these two states. But uh, looking back at the arrow, oh my God. Looking back at the arrow, it's upright. So that'd be the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a stack. Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert do not stack up against Jamal Murray, Durant, and Nikola Jokic. It's all but over. Yo, it's gonna get very interesting because there's a lot of good like super teams that have been built throughout this video so far. Um, Like a lot. So... Nuggets starting off strong. It shouldn't even be a contest. Second half, it's a bit closer. Hold on. Hold on now. Why is it this close? A minute left, tie ball game. Let's hop in. There's no way that Edwards is, is being this dominant against Durant, Murray, and Jokic. There's no way. He's attacking just like that and scoring. Bro, how much does he have? 28 points, but Towns has 25. They're actually balling out. Durant's on another super team at this point. There's no way he loses once again. You got Nas Reed on you. You should be able to take him. He's tired, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. He's drawing a foul. Back on offense, Edwards using that screen by Gobert. Um, he's gonna, he's tired now too. Attacking baseline, kick out to Conley. Everyone's tired, bro. 40 seconds left. Carl Anthony Towns back to Conley. What is the game plan, bro? What is this play? Edwards off the screen. Contested three. No, sir. This is the most important possession of the game. Tie ball game, Murray. You gonna feed Jokic. Interception. Rudy Gobert with the biggest play. Okay. One more chance for the uh, Wolves. Edwards. Oh, they got a one second differential between the game and shot clock. They're gonna hold on for a second. High basketball IQ. Go bear with the horrible screen. Edwards, pull up. Bang! Oh my God. Yo, he won him this game. This guy carried. Or did I speak too soon? We can't forget. Durant is one of the clutchest players. Jokic also, he can shoot. Murray, he's hit. Look, bro, they got so many good players. In the play call. Two seconds left. Murray, pulling up, contested. Oh my God, in and out. And just like that, the Wolves win. And they'll definitely pick up Jokic. Even though it's their third center, you gotta go with their best player. Things are definitely getting interesting, man. I'm glad we got some good gameplay as well. Next team we have is Sacramento, back on the West Coast. What direction are we gonna be going? Uh, down right a little bit, I guess. So, I mean, down, I guess, is the Warriors. I feel like the Warriors should end up winning this. Uh, obviously, in the playoffs last year, it was, it was very close matchups, but Warriors are the better team. And yeah, they had the win. They got that pretty easily. So, what did they benefit from? They already have two guards. So, the Kings, I feel like they benefit from getting Sabonis because their center currently for the Warriors is not good. Kevon Looney, 80 overall. We're taking some bonus. Still got plenty of teams that haven't been chosen yet. And next up, the team I was thinking of, the Boston Celtics. They're going to be going left down a little bit. So that would just be New York. It's actually a pretty interesting matchup. Obviously, the Celtics are a good team. But keep in mind, Mikhail Bridges is now on the Knicks. So another great score for them. Uh, that Someone to guard Jalen Brown as well. This could be closer than we think. The matchup is very, very even besides Tatum and RJ Barrett. It's actually identical. Besides, I, I guess, not really. But let's find out, can the South Six win it? No way they fooled against the Knicks, bro. There's no way that this super team doesn't beat the Knicks, dog. It's close, very close. It's a one point game. I'm gonna hop in just to see what's what type of BS is going on. Ah, very interesting, 13 seconds left, no timeouts for the Knicks, but if they foul and send them to the free throw line or get a steal, no. It's definitely not over. Even if they make two free throws, it's not over at all. Tatum's first free throw is in. And like I said, no timeouts for the Knicks. Tatum makes the second one, they need a three. Will they send it into overtime or will the Celtics be picking up Julius Randle? Barrett just pulling up. Nope, that's off. And that's game. And you know what? Brunson's actually the highest overall player. He's an 88 point guard. And the Celtics could definitely use an 88 overall point guard to back up uh, Drew Holiday. So, yeah, I'm going to choose Brunson for the Celtics. We're making our way, man. We are shrinking down this map. And next up, new team alert, Memphis Grizzlies with John Morant. That's an interesting one. Memphis is going to be going down right a little bit. And that should lead us to Atlanta. Nice. Now we can't forget the Hawks. <laughs> they picked up LaMelo Ball, Butler, and Paolo Bancaro. They're so good that their starter, their main guy, Trey Young, is actually six men off the bench. So yeah, John Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr., they're still solid with Bane and them. So it could be close. This is actually a pretty big game. Because if the Hawks lose this one, Memphis takes up so much land. They take up a lot of the Southeast. But I don't think they have anything to worry about. They're only going to get better. And they're going to be picking up John Morant. They won by three. That fourth quarter, they sold. Oh, my God. The Grizzlies scored 44 compared to 23. What the heck was going on? But LaMelo had 25. Uh, everyone balled out. And Morant is now 
a hawk. And Atlanta now owns the most land by far. But can someone take that from them? Who's up next? We have the Portland Trailblazers. That's a good one. And they'll be going down right a little bit. So for Portland, down right is the LA Clippers. All right, here we go. Keep in mind the Clippers picked up Laurie Markkinen. So they have a sniper on their team. And uh, they are starting off very solid. Yeah, they are blowing them out. Wow, 30 point win. How much of a difference did Markkinen make? 13 points, but PG had 40. Westbrook with prime Westbrook. Kawhi with 29 points. Yeah, and they're going to pick up who? Who do you take from the Blazers? DeAndre Ayton? That's, that's actually perfect for him. A good center. Next up, we're down to 14 teams. Yes, sir. Is it the Pistons or Lakers? It looks like it's going to be the Detroit Pistons. I hope the Pistons go up against the Hawks and take up all of the land. I know we're going up north, up to the right. That's Toronto Raptors, Pistons versus Raptors. Now, contrary to popular belief, I think the Pistons are better than the Raptors by a lot. And I feel like this game right here is going to show it. Look at my Pistons go. Come on now. Come on, Detroit. Detroit. Damn, now we lost by nine. I mean, whatever. Who cares, right? Scrotum had 21. Unreal. Unreal. Well, they're going to take Kay Cunningham, add him to Toronto. Dang it. What's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, oh, Indiana hasn't been touched yet, but we got Boston Celtics back at it. Boston is going down right. Can they do that? No. Yo, we haven't even landed on the 76ers yet. Uh, left up a little. Hey, Raptors, back at it. So here's the new matchup. Cade Cunningham now on the Raptors and Jalen Brunson added to the Celtics, meaning Drew Holiday is coming off the bench. I think Celtics have this one easily. And if they win, they'll pick up Pascal Siakam. Yeah, the Celtics, hey man, don't sleep on the Celtics. They might win the whole thing. They might win the whole thing, man. And they're playing at home right now. Pretty close starting off back and forth. Oh wow, Raptors have the lead. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's gonna be uh, down to the wire for sure. Down to the wire. Wait. Eight point win for the Raptors. What? Gary Trent Jr. dropped 23. That's crazy. Tatum had 27. Brown was 17. The rest of the team sold, bro. I'm shocked. So now Tatum is officially a Raptor. And they took over all this land that Boston once had, New York, Massachusetts, etc., and Detroit. So hey, Toronto's coming down. Down to 12 teams, bro. There's still been some teams that haven't been touched yet. And will the Lakers be spun around this time? It looks like yes, barely. Yeah, Lakers, bro, they almost they didn't get touched at all. No, you can't go left. Let's go down, straight down for the Lakers. That's the Clippers. So the Clippers have uh, Lloyd Markin and DeAndre Ayton. So Ayton versus Davis, that's a pretty decent matchup. Davis should get the better of that one, though. And now you got Paul George, Lori, and Kawhi. Very solid rotation they got going on over here. I don't know, man. Clippers might end up taking LeBron. If the Clippers take LeBron, that actually works out very well because that's... Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they for sure have it. No way they come back. No way they come back. Yes, sir. Clippers. What happened? Paul George had 30. Uh, how did Aiton do? I'm curious. Five points. Amazing. Uh, and then, yeah, they're taking LeBron James. Next spin. What we got going on? Cleveland? No, no, no. Minnesota, who added Nikola Jokic. So that's a, a very big team that got, got going on in Minnesota. You can't go up from Minnesota. No, you cannot. But you can go down right a little bit. And that's where you end up against Milwaukee, who has not been touched yet. Giannis and Dame against Anthony Edwards, Jokic, Cat, and Rudy Gobert. Hey, if 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 the if the Wolves win this one and they take Giannis, it's about raps. Okay, Ty, I gotta jump in. No! Come on, 2K! They gotta fix this, bro. What's up with 2K, bro? Fix this, man. Damn. We're getting robbed out of great games, man. It was a tie ball game with a minute left. Please, can it be another close one so we can jump in and watch some gameplay? No, they're not going to give it to us. All right, man. Well, I guess that's how it was supposed to happen the first time. Jokic got a triple-double. Ant-Man had 46. We will be stealing Giannis and building the ultimate team. We're down to the final 10 teams. This is when things start to get good, disgusting, dirty. Indiana still hasn't been touched yet. And will they get touched now? Pause. Yes, they will. They will be attacking up. They're going up. They're going against the Raptors. Good luck. Now, remember, the Raptors, they have Katie Cunningham. They beat the Celtics. They have Jason Tatum now as well. But the Pacers are putting in work. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on? No way. Tyrese Halliburton and Benedict Mathurin and Miles Turner even went off. And they beat this team. Yo, did Tatum not play? What's going on? Oh, he got injured. That's tough. Okay, well, Pacers are taking Tatum. They take a lot of land too. Oh, no, bro, I'm dumb. They, I forgot to put... Tatum on the team. I'm stupid. All right, let's do this again. Let's do this again. Tatum is now on the Raptors. So this, I feel like, because I, I was like, there's no way that that uh, the Pacers would be that dominant. 
against the Raptors with Tatum. In the second go around, this is what I expected more of. It's still a close, bro, why is it still a close game? Wait a minute. Yo, you know what? Nah, my fault, my fault, Indiana. It don't matter. <laughs> Yo, Tatum, I can't believe the Raptors lost twice, man. And now the Pacers take so much land and Tatum. As you can see by the map, they got uh, a lot of land now. So that's our first plot twist. There's bound to be a few more within the rest of this video. Next team we land on is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland will be going down right a little bit, which I believe would be the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, down right, I guess, Atlanta Hawks. So here are the new teams. So the Cavs have Kyle Kuzma at small forward now after beating the Wizards. And the Hawks got so much better. John Morant, LaMelo, Butler, Paolo, don't forget Trey Young. I think the Hawks end up winning this game and then they'll probably end up taking uh, Garland, which would be just another guard or Mobley. I feel like Mobley would be a better fit for the Hawks at this point. And it looks like they are taking control. Yeah, man, eight point win. It was kind of close, but the Hawks win it. I'm trying to think. I think Mobley, nah. We'll go, we'll go with Mitchell, ninth overall. Mitchell will end up on the Hawks now. Next team is the Golden State Warriors. They picked up Sabonis after beating the Kings earlier. And the Warriors are going to be going straight to the right, which is the Clippers. So Warriors Clippers looks like this, dog. We have, <laughs> this is crazy. This is what it should have been. LeBron and Kawhi on the same team. But Paul George, LeBron, Kawhi, Aiton, Lloyd Markin off the bench. And then the Warriors have Chris Paul, Curry, uh, Sabonis at center now in Green and Wiggins. So, hey, who knows? Maybe the shooting from the Warriors ends up overtaking uh, the Clippers. Uh, sorry, the Clippers. Let's see, though. So far, it looks like the Clippers have control. Okay, now it's a close game. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Ah, uh, three-point game. Let's hop in. If it crashes, I'm going to kill someone, man. <laughs> we're good. All right, well, it's a five-point game with 30 seconds left, and the Clippers are down by five. So, Paul George, easy bucket. He missed it. Wow. He sold. He sold. That was an easy open shot, and there's no point in even watching the rest. So, we know the outcome of that one. Warriors win it. They will be stealing LeBron James without a doubt. And also stealing a lot of land. All of the West Coast and uh, Utah. So, now it's getting good, bro. A few teams left. We have seven to be exact. Only one will remain. And who will it be? I don't know yet, bro. There's a lot of stacked teams, especially with the Warriors getting LeBron. Back with Houston. We haven't seen them in a second. It's been a while. Where are they going? We're going to the right. So that means Houston versus the Pelicans. Here's the update of the teams now. So the Rockets ended up picking up Luka and Victor and Benyama throughout their two games they won. And then uh, the Pelicans picked up Shea Gilds Alexander after beating the Thunder uh, or the Bulls or no, the Thunder. Yeah, I, I forgot to be honest what team had him. But yeah, so this is actually a pretty solid matchup. You know, Shai and Luka is pretty even. You got Wembenyama, Zion. This is going to be a very, very important game. And the Pelicans win and they get Luka. It might be wraps, but you never know. You never know. It's a close one starting off back and forth. And will it be down to the wire? The answer is yes. I think we gotta hop in. Minute left, up by three for the Pelicans. Let's see. All right, well now the Pelicans are up by five after hitting some big free throws. What can Luka pull off with Wemben Yama? This duo right here, what can, I should, I should probably make a video of them teaming up together. Luka with the easy layup. Oh, wow. The Pelicans need to score here to make it a two possession game, which will change things a lot. Gilgis Alexander, he's gonna attack an easy, bro, easy dunk. What the heck? We can't count out the Rockets. We can't count out uh, Wembenyama, most importantly. Bro is a catch and shoot machine. Luka's being a ball hog. That might have just cost him the game. Horrible take by Luka, bro. I think he wants to go to uh, New Orleans. And just like that, Pelicans win it by nine. Shea Gilgis Alexander had 36. Zion had 15, and they'll be adding Luka Doncic to their team. And boom, all this land goes to the Pelicans, all of Texas, Louisiana. This is like the Louisiana Purchase, I think. Back in history class, this is the Louisiana Purchase, funny enough. And we're down to six teams, man. Come on. It's getting good. It's getting good. Next up, is it a repeat Pelicans? They're going back to back? Back to back games? No breaks? Yes, sir. They will be heading straight up to the right a little bit in, what do you know, Atlanta. Great, great matchup here. Here's the big game. Hawks versus Pelicans. They they have so much land, each of them. And this matchup looks like it's it's so even. Actually, no, because the Hawks have a better bench. They got a, uh, yeah, they got LaMelo Ball and Trey off the bench. So, I mean, hey, hey man, is this is one game. Anything could happen in this one game. Luka and Shea Gilgis could go for like a million points combined. It's back and forth. Every game lately has been close because teams are more even. Love to see it. 
And hold on. Yo, the Pelicans, they, they finally did it. They took down the Atlanta Hawks, bro. The dominant Atlanta Hawks, the Pelicans did it. And who will they now be getting? Jimmy Butler. Yeah, Butler fits perfectly with this uh, with this Pelicans team. Here's the map. Pelicans are now the dominant shareholder of the United States of America. And it's crazy, the 76ers have still dodged every, they have not played one game yet. If they end up playing one game and taking over the world, the country, that'd be crazy. Um, so yeah, don't forget, the Warriors have a solid team, the Wolves have a solid team, Pacers not bad either. Here we go, will Philly be picked? They dodge it once again. How are they pulling this off? I don't know. Indiana is what we land on, and the direction Indiana is going is down right a little bit. Ah, the Pelicans. That's tough. Here's the matchup. Remember, the Pacers only won a single game and they got Tatum. So their team is actually horrible. Yeah, their team is horrible. Yo, they're gonna get crushed. It might be like a 100 point blowout game. This might be the worst L in NBA history that we're about to witness. No way Tatum and, and Halliburton. How are they having a lead, bro? Wait a minute. Hey, let me not doubt the Pacers once again. Let me, let me not doubt them again. Okay, okay. Nah, hold on. They lost by seven. That's still crazy. Only seven points is kind of crazy. Yeah, and Ingram was their leading scorer for the Pelicans. Well, uh, the Pelicans will be stealing Tatum, for sure. They just got to beat out three more teams. One, two, three, and the country is theirs. Let's go. Who will the wheel decide next? It's got to be Philly. There's no way Philly gets away with this once again. All right, finally, Philly is going to play a game. Thank God. They are going to be going straight down and playing the Pelicans. It's the Pel bro, they're gonna be playing the Pelicans no matter what. I don't think Joel Embiid, bro, can't lead a team to the to to, the, to a, even a regular NBA Finals. There's no way he's gonna beat this super team. I'd be surprised. It's kind of close though. He's not not close enough. Not close enough. Now Pelicans take that one pretty easily. Um, yeah, even scoring between the star players, and they will be having Joel Embiid, the best center outside of Jokic. That's gonna be huge for him. And as we wrap down to our last two games we have minnesota it looks like all right minnesota is going in what direction they're going to be going to the left so they're up against the warriors all right the winner of this game plays the pelican we have Giannis, cat Jokic, and anthony edwards up against curry clay lebron draymond and sabonis this is a very very good game i think that the late the warriors will end up winning it i think their shooting will end up helping them but the Wolves are starting off very strong. Fourth quarter, wait a minute. Damn. Now they had it the whole time, basically. Yeah, Wolves win it. Edwards had 28. Giannis with almost a triple-double. Jokic going crazy as well. And they will be taking LeBron James to the finals to play against the Pelicans. And here we have it, the moment we've all been waiting for. Everything has led to this right here. Pelicans versus Timberwolves for the entire country of NBA imperialism. We have Shea versus Mike Conley. That's the weakest matchup ever. 81 overall point guard. We got Luka versus Ant-Man. We got Butler versus LeBron. Tatum versus Giannis and Embiid versus Jokic. Everyone has assembled. It's time, bro. I'm really hoping it's a close game. I want to hop in. I want to see some gameplay. First quarter. Who wins the first quarter? The Pelicans win the first quarter. Second quarter, Pelicans also win that. Hey, this is low-key a blowout. Wait a minute. Can the Wolves come back? No. It's a blowout. 25-point win for the Pelicans. Tatum drops 25. Luke with the triple-double. Embiid, Shea, and Butler all double digits with Ingram and Zion. And just like that, the Pelicans take over the entire country. And here's the map. New Orleans Pelicans have taken over the United States of America, bro. Hey, they had a good starting team. You got Zion, Ingram, you got Jose Alvarado, CJ McCollum. They got the job done and they built from there. So, hey, they earned it. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see a part two to this with all-time teams or whatever, let me know. Uh, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.